migration. Five different types. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to demonstrate an understanding of the five types of migration. Uh, I'm a... I'm a... Uh, hey, how do you say meatball sandwich in Portuguese? Um, sanduíche do almondega, por favor. Dear Tim and Moby, My social studies teacher said America is a country of immigrants. What does that mean? From Myra. Your teacher's right. America was founded, colonized, and built up to what it is today mostly by immigrants and their children. Immigrants are people who settle in a country they weren't born in. Except for American Indians and Native Hawaiians, pretty much every citizen of the United States is either from another country or descended from people from other countries. As opposed to a place like, say, China, where most people belong to families who have lived there for thousands of years. The original settlers of the 13 American colonies came mainly from European countries, especially Great Britain. Well, they came for a few reasons. Many of them were poor and attracted by the almost unlimited economic opportunity of a new land. Many were escaping religious intolerance in their home countries. In America, there was much less control over people's religious beliefs. And political beliefs. Finally, there was space. America had tons of unpopulated land compared to Europe. Those same things, money, freedom, and space, continued to drive American immigration over the next few hundred years. In the 1800s, the United States encouraged immigration, almost without any restrictions. Starting in the 1840s, immigrants flooded into the country, escaping war, hunger, and poverty in their home countries. Millions of those newcomers passed through Ellis Island, an immigration processing center that opened in New York Harbor in 1892. Twelve million immigrants, mostly from Europe, passed through there, and it's estimated that nearly one out of four Americans can trace an ancestor back to Ellis Island. These days, one and a half million immigrants from around the world enter the United States every year. And because the demand to get in is still so high, countless undocumented immigrants arrive each year, too. Those are immigrants who come into the country without the government's permission. Yeah, you can't just move to whatever country you want. Even if you're just visiting for a short time, like on vacation, government workers called customs agents will check you when you arrive. Illegal immigration has become kind of a big deal. Some people believe illegal immigrants should be allowed to stay in the United States and work toward getting their citizenship. They argue that these immigrants are what the American dream is all about, giving everyone a chance to make better lives for themselves. Others say that offering citizenship to people who've snuck into the country isn't fair to the ones who've followed the rules and are still waiting to get in. It's a controversial issue because so many Americans have immigrants in their families. Like me. My father's grandparents arrived at Ellis Island from Wales in the 1920s. And my mother... My great-grandpa does not have a speech impediment. It's an accent. A Welsh accent. Anyway, my mother's family immigrated from Japan. Are you going to mock my grandmother now? So... What is migration? Migration is when people move from one place to another with the intent of establishing a new home, not for vacationing or visiting. An immigrant is any person who lives in a country they were not born in. There are five types of migration that you'll be learning about in this video. Economic migration, social migration, political migration, environmental migration, and forced migration.
Economic migration is when people move to a new home because of situations related to money, jobs, or income. Social migration is when people move to a new home because of their families, because their freedoms are limited, or because of their communities. This category also includes when people migrate for religious reasons. Political migration is when people move to a new home because they don't like the leaders where they live, they don't agree with the laws where they live, or any other reason related to the government. Environmental migration is when people move to a new home because of situations related to Earth's physical features and or natural hazards. Forced migration is when people are relocated to a new place to live against their will. They don't want to move, but they're forced to.